some of the largest and indeed oldest megalithic sites upon Earth are mostly classified as ruins due to them indeed being in a dilapidated state. Yet upon our travels around these so-called ruins, we have often found that erosion is not the primary cause of this current state. Many of those built much later than that of the clearly naturally eroded conditions of Cappadocia, where some sections have literally returned to the geologically natural state in which they were first formed, for example. Instead, they appear to have experienced a cataclysm, one possibly involving a great flood, the crack in the unfinished obelisk, unfinished, like countless other ancient sites, abruptly abandoned, ancient quarries, ancient builds, structures, even Moai on Easter Island, abandoned at their seeming height of abilities. These places, preserved in a state of past bustling, yet these once flourishing stone mason locations are all now moderately damaged, with only those built to an angle and in anticipation of attack or cataclysm surviving in any real significance, a testament to the builders of these sites' abilities and insight, yet further confirmation of an unknown event once occurring. The tallest and oldest of obelisks across the globe often lay toppled as if hit by a wave. Could this reinforce the argument of their indeed once being the Great Deluge? One with enough force to topple these multi-ton monuments worldwide? Menhirs are classified as Neolithic monuments, some of which, although rarely discussed, weigh sometimes over a hundred tons. This may indeed be part of the reason they are rarely academically explored. The most spectacular of these being the Loch Maria K megaliths a complex of Neolithic constructions in Loch Maria Cay, Brittany. It comprises of the elaborate tumulus passage grave, a dolmen known as the Table des Marchands, and the most incredible of the ruins, the broken, or more accurately toppled, Menhir of Urgra, the largest single block of stone so far known to have ever been transported and erected by Neolithic people. This one rock, like the toppled obelisk of Axum, was of a gigantic size, academically claimed as being quarried and transported by people of primitive nature with Stone Age tools. It is estimated that it weighed over 330 tons when first placed. The question is, like countless other claimed Neolithic ruins, how did they achieve such feats? How did they lift such enormous stones? Were they, like we have posited many times before, the remnants of a once advanced yet destroyed ancient civilization? We find such possibilities, in particular, the men here of Ergra, highly compelling.